water. Ah! Just Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get away from me, eel! and welcome back to a new video and I'm really excited today because we're gonna be playing some Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm too loud, Evie is just peaced out. <laughs> so I know I played this like the early access but before and I was gonna start my gameplay for like after then because the game comes out tomorrow so I wanted to give you guys a little video tonight. However, I had to cut so, so much out because I wasn't allowed to show you guys certain puzzles. I wasn't allowed to show you guys um like the cutscenes and stuff because they weren't quite finished yet and now they are. And because the game is almost like half movie, it feels wrong to not show you guys that stuff so you can get an idea of the story. So I'm going to be playing from the beginning and I'm going to be showing you guys all the cutscenes and all that kind of thing. The game does have like swearing in it, but I'm going to be cutting that out. I know there's some of you that if there's swearing in the video, then you're not allowed to watch it and I don't want you guys to miss out. So it's just where, where there's like uh, swearing and cutscenes or anything like that, I'm just going to be cutting it out. And if you guys want to play Shadow of the Tomb Raider as well, check out the link at the top of my description. So it's to GTA who I've noticed have a really good uh, price on Shadow of the Tomb Raider and they also have good deals on all kinds of games all the way across the store so if you guys are after some good deals and you're a bit of a gaming geek like me it's probably a good place to keep an eye on so with that in mind guys let's get straight into it let's play some shadow of the tomb raider now this game is one that i really need your feedback on whether you want me to keep playing it or not because if you don't i'll, I'll just keep it at one episode it's kind of weird but if this video doesn't do like well enough i probably won't keep playing the series because it means that not enough people are enjoying it so if you want me to keep playing it please 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 make sure you show this video loads of love and share it with any Anybody else who might be interested so that I can keep playing the series because unfortunately I can't keep playing the series on my channel if it don't do well because that's just the way YouTube works unfortunately. Okay let's get into it. Let's play up to like four times. Let's play some Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Okay so this is the cutscenes that I didn't get to show you so I'm just let you guys enjoy them okay because this game is half game and half movie so I have set all my graphics to like super ultra like all of the um, shadows and everything are on ultra so it should be looking real nice. See, see how pretty it looks, you guys. And straight away, we're in a bit of a dire situation, aren't we? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm watching a movie. Got a peachy watching my film. This is great. This is wonderful. I feel like I'm sat like with movie night with you guys. This is really cool. Oh, well that's not what you want to happen when you're on a plane, isn't it? <laughs> Jonah, we have to. This is like all my fears when I'm on a plane. No <gasps> oh, no. It's like, I'm not jumping out this plane and the plane's like, well I'm jumping out with you, okay? <laughs> and I should be laughing, she was like, seatbelts, should have had your seatbelt on anyway. Did you not hear the warning when the flight took off and the attendant told you? Okay, I'm sorry, I love I love these games and I love Lara Croft. You can't survive that. <laughs> you just can't survive that. This ain't lost. Okay, two days earlier. See, two days earlier, she was in a bad situation as well. Look how beautiful her hair looks. Oh my gosh, this looks unreal. Like I played it on PS4 before and it looked good. This looks crazy. I can't actually believe this is a game. Just a little stuck. Ooh, I'll turn subtitles on for you guys as well. No, I'm right on Trinity's tail. I don't want to attract attention. Okay, she's stuck in a crevice, but her leg is trapped. But she's like right behind Trinity, so she's like, don't come get me, I need to go and get them. That's the Lara we love, you guys. We love a Lara who doesn't care if her leg's a bit squished. I'm gonna have to unsquish her leg, aren't I? Oh no! There we go. Oh, it's, it's not for the faint of heart, this game, is it? Start the game off, here's a plane ripped in two. Also, here's your squishy leg, enjoy. Roll with that. She looks like, I, I, I have no console hate at all. Like, I love all platforms. But I will say, this game looks really nice on PC. Like, really nice on PC. Okay, subtitles run for you guys. This is how the game starts. If you've got claustrophobia, it's like, oh, hello, you worst fear. You were literally trapped in this tiny little cave here. I couldn't show you all this because it's technically it's all cutscenes. But I get to show you it now. There's some of the funny bits that I couldn't show you that made me jump as well. So I'm really looking forward to actually be able to show you everything. This is kind of what I did, right? I had to climb up slippy rocks just like this. I was literally so Lara Croft and I didn't even know that the game was going to be this climby. So, you know, 
If anything, I inspired her. Lara. <laughs> there we go. She's out of her little cave. She needs... She's got a charcoal mud mask. Just because when you're adventuring doesn't mean that you shouldn't be neglecting your paws. So she's going for that charcoal look as she's adventuring. You, we love a Lara that multitasks. I really respect her for that because I feel like in these humid environments, that's when your skin is going to get all blocked up and she's she's taking it real seriously. She's going to have gorgeous paws at the end of this. She knows we're playing on PC and you'll be able to see all of her paws. Okay, I need to be more serious. Needs to be more serious, guys. This is real traumatic, okay? She's just come out of a hole. She's literally like a little worm right now. They're protecting something. Okay. So Trinity are protecting something. This is what I needed when I was doing my climb. I feel like if I'd have had these, I would have done so much better. <laughs> I was okay though, right? I was pretty good. I was pretty good. Okay, so I think I need to like jump up to that wall there and then like jump on. So do, you want, do a little jump. There we go. Okay, and oh, she only just made it. Look, look how strong and fierce she is. That was my arm strength is just no hope at all. My legs are reasonably strong. But my arms are absolute trash. Look how pretty. How pretty is this game? It almost makes you want to be there. But honestly, I'd rather be here with like my peachy juice. Just like safe. Safe, I think, is advisable. It's better. Adventuring's great and all, but does it be having like nice Mexicans to dinner like we had I last night? It. I'm on my way in. Okay. <gasps> Look at the bats. Sorry, I didn't wait. Oof. Be careful. Very spook. Ooh! Ooh, and what's this? We found our first little piece of the puzzle here. Okay, that would be really cool to stumble across. Because if you see that and you're not Lara, there's like a million Taurus. You can't get a picture in front of it because no one will move. You've, this is the right way to experience an adventure stuff, isn't it? <gasps> Ooh, let, 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 see the constellations on the side of the wall there? Oh. Is that a microphone or is it a bomb? I can't remember. Oh, look, she's got her little little camera. Taking some pictures so she can see her friends back home. Sims, show pictures of El Salvador. That's what she's doing. Wow. Also, how did he just get here so easy? Oh, it's just... All that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity is after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. I'm glad we followed your father's notes. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Her legs hurting, guys. I saw where the passage collapsed on you back there. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. Oh, did you see the eye roll? She's this? done that before, guys. She's like, no, fine, don't help me. And he's like, inscription at some sort you've literally table. pulled your leg apart. Pink fish. Pink fish. A silver crowned mountain. Where's she reading pink fish? I don't see that. I didn't see no mums. But something's off. Looks like it was it damaged, looks so perhaps real. intentionally. So real. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. Okay, so sit no, I think the damage is older. Okay, so there's a you date. Oh, <gasps> you know. Oh, oh, she's triggered a bomb. She's triggered a bomb. She's triggered a bomb. Thank God he's noticed with his cool haircut. Oh gosh. So there's a date that's been tampered with. She's still trying to take pictures. <laughs> Lara, this is not the time for Instagram pics, okay? You're gonna get squished. Run, run, run. Oh, am I gonna have to run? Am I gonna have to run? Run, run, run. So there was, oh my gosh, it is actually me. There was a date there, but the damage was older than Trinity. Whenever I see that, I feel like Trinity's like, well, we can't work it out. Lara will just do it for us and then we'll take the info. You know that's what's gonna happen. Freshen up, regroup at the cafe. Get a little chai latte. Get a little soul. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. That's a total lie. She's gonna go upload those pics so on Instagram, like hashtag exploring, way, hashtag pinkfish, hashtag nearly got squished. Lol. So this is the bit I got to show you guys. Um, so you've probably seen a lot of this before. I'll probably go through it a little bit faster. But I don't think I could show you like the beautiful cutscene opening the beautiful mexican sort of town center where they're eating in the little casa la casa mexicano literally the most like obvious like this is a mexican casa call it like i don't know le casa adolf i don't know anything new on dr dominguez <laughs> that just means rice <laughs> he's leading a few trinity leagues in the area 
My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great like guy. Big help to the town. I want a poncho. So I just got like? depressed so up. <laughs> Turn a look. The riddle. Its directions. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. Oh, now I see uh, the pink fish. It's we're pink we're totally on the same page. The it goes on. Um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver crowned mountain. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River. Brazil. This oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> if you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an 8? With procession, it. What? Uh, procession. The I'm glad we've got him, so tilt. she'll explain so it to us. Stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. Totally knew that, guys. The precision. Maya calendar, that's a 2,000 year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking in the wrong place. <laughs> exactly. We need to look for the Silver Crown Mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about, what about these pink uh, dolphins, though? I'm pretty excited about those. I want to see a pink dolphin. Doctor, we found him. Yes. So, so this is the guy they've been following. Kim Shut Throwing his money down for his soul or his little espresso or whatever. Oh, I fancy espresso, but I've got coffee, so we all good. Hold on, Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in. She's already got her cool poncho on. Oh, look at that! Look how badass she looks! I want a mask. I look real spooky. Okay. So I have shown you guys quite a lot of this bit, so I'm just gonna zoom through. Oh, look at these balloons! They're so cool. So much for a night off. But the idea is here, we're trying to go? just find a little bit of info about where to go and find this courtyard. The Dominguez. Yeah. Beautiful accent. Dominguez Let's is up. Around. We need to find him. Someone must know something. And is it like um, a celebration here? Is it the Day of the Dead? Let something the us. Which is like where you uh, press F to pay respects. <laughs> Which is where you dress up in the mask and everything, and you like celebrate the dead. I think it's a cool <laughs> festival. Look at this. Look at it. Like, look. It looks like a movie. I'm blown away by the way this game looks. I thought Rise looked good, but this is something else. Look, this kid's gonna launch a firework in my face. Okay, there he is. There he is. So we kind of sneak in at the side, if I remember here. Which makes sense, right? I think I can find another way over the wall. I'll take care of these guys. So good old Jonah takes me to the team, and he's like the um. Confused Taurus, like, oh, I just want to go through here, let me in, la 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 la. And she's like, stealth, stealth, stealth. That's meant to be her climbing a wall, not like a really fun it's dance. The chicken dance. They're going to shoot you, okay? You just need to back off. You definitely don't look Mexican as well. He looks like, um, I don't know, like, I would say South Pacific, but I don't know what I mean when I say that. But in my head, I do. Oh, no, like, maybe like... Those guards were New Zealand, I don't know. <laughs> Dominguez must suspect something. <laughs> but he doesn't look Mexican, does he? Okay, we're doing a little sneakeroo through here. Excuse me, friendos! Excuse me. Excuse oh. We're on the same page, me and Lara. Okay. I think he's the leader so of we Trinity. found out that Dominguez is the leader of Trinity, so, you know. Pretty important Lara. guy. If she had any sense, she'd yeah, just walk yeah, up to him you. and just like... <laughs> Quick knife and oh sorry friendo. Do you, you would just like stab him and get it over and done with. But this is why I can never direct games and films because I'm always like, just do this in the first five minutes and then the rest of the game or film doesn't even exist. So that's why Hollywood rarely calls on me. Someone okay, so they're on to the fact that it was her that set off the trap. Which ain't I'll great, sure is it? Do you guys remember all this bit? She goes in the little back alley, she does a little hide a We listen to him on the phone here. You guys remember. You have the you remember all this. Female, Caucasian, early twenties. Yeah. Got that? Well, good. They know she's fun. there. Good. They know Lara's there. She hasn't been as stealthy as she thought she was. You guys. Look how pretty the rocks look, though. I used to download mods in Skyrim just to make my walls look more like HD with like the little ivies and hey, stuff on. Get out of my uh, excuse me, friend. Sorry. Don't throw your bottle at me. me. Right. He is very drunk, isn't he? Um, and it just has it in this game naturally. Lo siento, I remember that from Spanish class.
just me, I'm this okay. <laughs> Jonah, they've entered the dig site. It's fenced off and there's a guard at the gate. Okay. I'll find another way in. I think this is, we're spot. getting pretty close to us having to use our bow and arrow and stuff. And oh my gosh, finally I can run. Ah. As well collect some stuff. I think you want to like, um, when I played this before, I didn't bother looting because it wasn't my console. I was like playing a debugged one. So there was like no point looting because I was never going to be able to um, like get enough, like continue with that character. But this time I'm going to loot because I want to unlock weapons. I want to unlock outfits like so she can wear a cool little rig out. Oh, look at that. Punch her off. Mask off. Lara's here. Because I know you can play in the outfit from the original Tomb Raider games. Like how cool would that be? Even though now she There's looks a million be times better. Moments. Like a million times better. And I played those old games. There's like four polygons. And like of those four, my three of them are on a chest. If you get my drift. Sort of cave. Okay, so we need to find this this Mayan pyramid thing. <gasps> okay. Guys, 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 please see it. Please move, please move, please move, please move. Please move, please move, please move. Get in here, get in here. We need to go and save. This is where they're starting to kill archaeologists, isn't it? Which means we need to save them. Okay, okay, okay. Play it smooth, play it smooth. How do I sneak in this one? How do I sneak? I've forgotten how to sneak, so she just she just walking around like really like bleh, 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 and like no, don't do that. Okay, this guy. If anyone wanted a knife through his head, it's this guy, isn't it? <gasps> don't you dare! Don't, where's my arrow? No! There you go. Saving archaeologists. Ain't no one killing people on my watch, guys. Look how cool she looks. Imagine if she saved you, you'd be like, I won't hurt you. Marry me. <laughs> I would. You work for Trinity. <gasps> what did they find? So pretty. The well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found <gasps> it. We're already a step behind. Sister. She's on her way here now. Yeah, get out of the town. Just a heads up, a little bit of a... Uh, Little tiny spoiler there, but just leave the town, okay? Just leave. It's for the best. That backpacking tour of Northern Europe you were thinking of taking? Take it now. Honestly, it's for the best. Just searching around for salvage, because I didn't do that before. But this time I do. Oh, so beautiful. Beautiful views. I know this figure. Should be like this. Ishel, the goddess. Instagram in the moon. Oh, and this is Shakshal, the new moon. Oh, yes, Shakshal. Description. Easy hush! Hush with your stupid collar! <laughs> beyond her gaze. Key. Okay. This is it. So, I died the quite a lot the first there. time I did this. Lara took quite a few trips down to the bottom of the rocks, whether she down. wanted to or not. I'm gonna try and do this, like, with as few deaths as possible, because then it's more realistic, isn't it? So that's what I'm gonna try and do, because before she was just, like... Almost like she just wanted to, uh, okay, this should work. like, do some cliff diving into the water, but she didn't. I just made her. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and be less, like, death- Oh, look at that. Less cruel on Lara and less deathy for her this time. Oh, gosh, she's right. all breaking away. Jump! There you go, lass. Good lass. Good lass yourself. Am I going the right way? Yeah, yeah, I need to get over there. Okay, jump! And E! There we go. I'm still getting used to, like, keyboard and mouse in with her as well, because, like, I've always played Tomb Raider on... What did I... Yeah, I always played it on console. This is the first time I've played it on PC. It's probably why I'm so blown away by how pretty it looks. Whereas if you guys have played it before on PC... What? Oh, Lara, be, be more careful, my love. You're like, yeah, this is how beautiful the games always look. But I'm just like, this is like a movie! It's so pretty! Also, if you guys watched my, um... My early gameplay, you'll know there's a bit where... It took me quite a few attempts. There was a lot of impaling going on. So I'm gonna try and make sure that doesn't happen so much this time. <laughs> I think I can like run up across this wall and like get leverage so I can jump over. I've got this. You got this, Lara. You got this, babe, okay? There's nothing you can't do. There you go. Beautiful, Lara. Literally, you make me proud to have two X chromosomes. The statue is the kind of lady you are. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to repel and then swing, aren't I? I'm getting there, guys. You just got to think like Lara, which isn't always the easiest because she's like real smart. She knows about all these crazy names for moons and stuff and like precision or whatever she said before. <gasps> I'm getting there. I'm getting 
get in there, guys. I'm entering a cave. Okay. We may lose contact. We're in the cave. <gasps> We're being proper little tomb raiders. We're picking some plants because we love herbology. Oh, we got mushrooms. Oh, I love a mushroom. Love a mushroom. Oh, be careful. Be careful, Lara. Just throwing stones around like that. People will hear you. Okay. I think in this game you can swim this cave a lot like more. It's usually underwater. So. <laughs> And I remember there's some stuff in the water that you've got to be careful of. Things that want to do some little chews off you. <gasps> See that little little rats? I like rats though. Like literally, I'd be so down for a pet rat. But I don't think it's wise when you've got cats the car to get rats. I feel like we'll be in a situation where we'll have the dog chasing the cats, the cats chasing the rats, and then me chasing all of them. And it'll just be like a cartoon. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, did you see me just step back in time to not get impaled directly through the head? I'm gonna shoot this down as well because I feel like it's like um, a little Easter egg and if you do them all, you get rewarded. So that's why I'm doing that. Ooh, it's just little rats. Hi oh, look at them all in a little line holding each other's tails for the rat king. More mushies for my stir fry tonight. There we go. Look at me go. Just like, it's almost like I've done it before. <laughs> Oh, look at that. <gasps> Found a small ceramic jar. Oh, I love those because you can put like your earrings in them and stuff. Okay, missing gear. I need a reinforced knife to get past that bit. I think I need to jump in the water. In we go, lads. <laughs> look how pretty the water is though. Okay, that's to go up and control is to dive. We're going for it, okay? This makes me like, there's something about this that makes me like really, really nervous. Like, I don't like her being underwater like this. It, like, it just makes me panic a lot, especially when she's like squeezing through stuff like this. Oh, it's an eel! A big old eel coming to get us as well. I think it's because I've had an incident when I was a child where I was trapped underwater. So as a result of that, like water in- stuff in the water just makes me really like- I don't like it. Like I get a little bit panicky. If you want to hear a Mario about that trapped in the water incident, like look, 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 look. Okay, so she can get water bubbles here. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I just get, I don't really get like too much claustrophobia, but I definitely get like fear of being underwater. Ah! Just Jesus Christ. <laughs> get away from me, eel. Oh my gosh, that made me jump. See, also eels can jump out with you at any time. So just stay out the water, friends. Oh, she's panicking. Lara, don't panic. Just get out of there. Oh my gosh. Get out, get out. Oh, and someone's just thrown a boulder at her. Oh, how rude. Like, literally, now she's trapped under a boulder and she's underwater. Am I about to die? Lara, come on, Lara. Go. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, my gosh. I'm literally just... I've been holding W for so long. Go! Go, get out! Go! Oh, my gosh. I have a hot flush. I actually have a full on hot flush right now from panic and just like, ah! get out of there, Lara. Oh, she's safe, guys. She's safe. Woo! That was pretty nerve wracking, though. Did not enjoy. Did not enjoy. BD, have you come to make me feel better? No, you just walked straight past me. Cheers, babes. <laughs> Let's get away from the water. Oh, okay. Look, do you see that? That right there is a trap. How do I trigger it without actually triggering it? Okay, F. Oh, oh. Well, I sure am glad I didn't get those through my eyeballs. That would have made the next part real tricky. And boom. Look at us go. I feel like I'm better at this than I was the first time around. Oh, oh. That's the pyramid. That's the pyramid that she saw. saw. The temple. Put <laughs> on the big rock, okay? I totally knew that. I totally knew that. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad that was where I was meant to go. Because I'm not going to lie. I just kind of panicked and jumped there like, oh, I know this bit. Oh, okay. That's the next one. There we go. So they're like bells. And they like have weights and stuff. Okay. There we go. So this has a puzzle in it that I wasn't allowed to show you guys the first time around. And it wasn't the easiest puzzle, okay? <laughs> Puzzles in this game are kind of hard, especially when you're not very puzzle inclined like me. Good. Okay, so I have to, obviously, if that's there, I have to use it and then probably push this through. Like, off you go, friendo. Begin your new life at the bottom of the pit. Enjoy. So I think that has gone, maybe rolled onto one of the bells. And because it rolled onto the bells, that means now I can use the bell like this. Kapow. 
and then get onto this one. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was a big jump. Oh, I'd cry like, how could you, Claire? Just look around you before you jump, you spook. Okay, she made it that time. I was right. She just, oh, oh, God, jeez. She just was being a, a pookie the first time, but she's not being a pookie this time. Okay. Oh! Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm guessing I need to jump onto that. There we go, there we go, there we go. We are good, guys. We are good. We're finding some more ceramic boxes. Our bedroom's gonna look so for me. Tie her from that to that so that she can, like, get her way over. And then I think I just have to, like, jump onto it. <gasps> okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, how speedy. You're like a little raccoon. Hi, Miko. Oh, 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 hello. I don't think so. God, you've got to get better with the traps if you want to catch me, okay? I'm way too smart for that. Jump! Good lass. Oh, that one doesn't look like it really wants me. Oh, quick! Quick! Yes, Lara! Okay, that one's stuck, so I have to free it. So this is the puzzle that took me a really, really long time to work out. Okay, so I think I have to cut this. Cow. And then there is a little trolley somewhere. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay, the little trolley is here. Then I have to like push the little trolley down. This took me so long the first time around, that's why. But I kind of know what I'm doing this time. That's why it seems like it's uh, like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Actually, it doesn't even seem like I know what I'm doing, to be honest. Okay, then do I put this onto here? Can I do this bit yet? Because then I think I have to like turn this. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Like so. I think that should work now. Oh no, <laughs> clearly not. <laughs> Oh, Claire! Look at my brain be like, figure this out! You've done this once before! I'm gonna make it so that the little roly bit at the back is facing me. I don't know why. I just stop. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut. Wait, do I need to cut this? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna cut that. And then I'm gonna attach the that to this. Okay, she's put that in. For what it's worth, she has put that in. Then I'm gonna pull the trolley up here. No, wrong way. There we go. Yet again, I'm not really sure why I'm doing all of this, but I'm doing it. Oh, I think I need to smash the stuff there. Okay, guys, we're working it out. We're getting there. We are getting there. Let's just go and cut that. Goodbye. Enjoy your little travels. Cutscene! That's when you know you did it right. So the bell is free. I thought I needed to roll it down, but I don't. Okay, that's good. The bell is free, which means we can make our way to these beautiful little rope ladders here. Well done, Claire. Well done. You got there in the end. It only took you 7,000 years. Okay, that one's all the way up there now, though. Oh, <gasps> wait, no, 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 no. What if I go on this? Yeah, that does not fit. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, I go that way instead, because then I'm, I don't have to climb up. I get it. I get it. Okay, there we go. Claire's figured it out. She ain't so dumb after all. Now we just gotta go around this little ledge. I feel like- Ooh! Ooh! Bats! I just told everyone how much I like you guys, and then you go and betray me like that. How could you, bats? So cruel. Fruit bats, to be fair, are the only bats that are cute. The rest of them have faces like little demons. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We found what we came here for. The entrance to the temple. <gasps> Is she wearing a little GoPro the whole time? Jonah. Is that a little GoPro? Yeah, Jonah, there's a mural here. I think. It shows a box. She's, it's for her YouTube video, that's why. The inscription says, the silver box of Eshel. <gasps> that must be what's in the hidden city. Okay, so she it's wants the box. Myth. It says the box will summon the god Kugel Khan. Oh god, why do you want to summon him? He's awful. Leave him be. Is that what Trinity's after? Why do you always want to Wait, summon these spooks? Looks like a series of cataclysms. It looks like the apocalypse. A tsunami. A tsunami. A storm. A storm. An earthquake. An earthquake. A volcano. A eruption. So much for the god of creation. Seems like the god well, of destruction. In my belief, Kugel Khan is the god of creation and destruction. I teach her, I've taught her everything she knows. I'm so proud of her. Hmm. This looks like the Hydra constellation. 
But the stars seem out of alignment. This is like the room. You need to twist them into position. If you guys have never played the room, it's such a good game. It's a mobile game. It's so good. It is so good. Okay. Now that should allow you to open the middle. Oh no, she's still into a little bit of twisting. There you go. Ooh, what will appear though? I thought it was floating then. Okay, this is the knife. Jonah, I found a dagger. But we kind of know she shouldn't it's take this. The key to Isha's heart unlocks the cleansing. The cleansing. Cleansing. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. They don't mean like cleansing your face after you've done the whole mud mask. I think they mean more like a cleansing of humans. Don't take it. Don't take it, Lara. Oh, she wants that cleansing. She wants that beautiful skincare. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. <gasps> Nearly just got a boulder on your toes. I think she's realized that she's messed up by taking that. What have I done? What have you done? She panicked a bit, but I guess th the thing she's thinking Jonah, is, if down. she didn't do it, then oh, no, Trinity would have done it anyway. So like, was, I'm, I'm running here because I feel like it's all going to collapse on me. Wreck rolls. Oh no, weak walls. <laughs> I was like, wreck the wall. Yeah, if she didn't take it, Trinity were going to take it anyway, but I still feel like it's going to weigh pretty heavily on, heavily on her that she yeah, was the one that took it. Okay, so this is where I think she starts to get a little bit stealthy. Okay, look, so we can hide in the bushes. How cool are the bush hidings? Look at me go, I'm like a little bush ninja. Make sure. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you go, you can join me in the bushes, friend. What do you think? Stealthily killing guys. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before they notice that he's never gonna finish with that pump. Because he doesn't have a heartbeat. Why is she walking so weirdly? Look how stealth, guys. I love that she's become like this ultra stealthy version of Lara. Like, it just makes us seem so much more badass. Let's just make sure the perimeter is secure when Commander Rourke gets here. We'll be ready. And look, you can do this for like survival instincts. So that's where my target is, and this is where my little peeps are at. So people in yellow are isolated, which means I can take them down and nobody else will ever know. So if I take him down, they shouldn't notice. So I may as well do that. Oh, lava. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak over here. That grab a little bottle. Go on, grab it. Sneak back again. <laughs> Throw the bottle over there. And then see if that means someone gets isolated. Yeah, okay, so they're both isolated from each other now. Which means, can I? <gasps> I know I was the peach queen before, but now I'm the stealth queen, you guys. So disgustingly stealthy. This guy's getting it through the head. Oh, he's moving a lot. Ah, there we go. Headshot. <gasps> that was making me nervous. I didn't actually think I'd be able to get a shot on him because he was so movie. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll take that. And onwards we go. Oh, I can hear gunshots. I think this is where they start killing the archaeologists, guys. Very sad. Do not agree. Abel is an archaeologist. Don't you be killing my Abel, you know? Have to be quick. Okay, the guy up there is isolated. Do you think I should go for him first instead? they found out tonight. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe him. Assholes should have minded their own business. Okay, one down. Two down. Oh my gosh. Base camp. Three. Oh. Hold it. Oh, it did. It did. Dum 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 dum. Okay. Okay. Oh, this this like like amazing mode is so good. I actually love it. Oh my gosh. Yes. Everyone's dead. Shouldn't be so happy about that statement, but I am. Okay, I can go up to where he was now. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got a spotlight on my head. Are those extra fuel canisters for the siege? Yeah. Oh, what are these? Like I said. Oh, he just talked about some fuel canisters next to a wall. I heard that. What happens if I shoot these instead? Will it? Will it arrow even do anything? Something's wrong. Uh, one of them is <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't think that killed any of them. Oh no! 
I thought I was doing the right thing with the fuel tanks, but maybe I should have got them to go over there and then shot them. Okay, that was pretty dumb. Oh, I was just get, stealing loads of stuff as well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, quick, scavenge, scavenge like your life depends on it because it does. I've switched to uh, an assault rifle because it just seems to make more sense. <gasps> Grenade. Oh, yeah, this was definitely the right decision. Oh my gosh, how do they have such good aim with the grenades? Jeez. Okay, I've thrown a bottle over to the other side of the map. Oh my god, get down! No, what are you doing? Going up, you absolute pokey! Run! Oh my gosh. Idiot. Okay, surely that's all of them now. I've killed a lot of people. Okay, I can see another dude. Okay, I think I got them all. <gasps> I messed that up so much. I should have just shot the fuel tank, but <laughs> I was just like, shot it when no one was near it. That was real dumb. I actually think I did better when I played the early game. <laughs> oh well, can I have your money please, friends? Thanks, that guy's got his arm up like, here's some cash. Thanks, thanks. Okay, onwards we go, I guess. <laughs> I wonder if she feels bad for like killing all these people or whether she's just like, eh, they're baddies, they're fine, they'll get over it. I'd have thought even if they are baddies, like, she's still killing them, you know? <gasps> okay, cutscene. <gasps> they found me! Okay, I've got my little gun in. Oh, well done, Lara. I do all that for you and then you immediately get punched in the back. Hi, Lara. Rude, okay? That's what that is, rude. Lara Croft. Okay, so this is Dominguez. This is the bit I couldn't show you before, but I did really want to be able to show you. Refusing help again. She refused help again. Hey, I hope we... Notice that. You know I've been interested in your work. Nice scarf, by the way. Trinity always is. He's a trendy guy. <gasps> So this is the knife they found on her. Oh. The key of Shasha. He knows what it is. That means he knows what it causes. I've sacrificed my life for this. <laughs> Where's the silver box of Isha? Give it to me. It's in a safe place. She doesn't have it. Oh my god, she's such a bad liar. You don't have it. She is such a bad liar. That's how my brother looks when he lies. That's how I can always tell he's lying. Cause he's like, <laughs> it's like so obvious. <laughs> he's like, get your men out of here right now. It never occurred to me that you would just take. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world without witness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this, but without the box, the apocalypse, the death of the sun. Oh, see, this is what I was trying to explain to you guys, but I You're couldn't lying. show you the cutscene. If you just Dara, take the knife and not the knife and the box, you, you cause the apocalypse. Me. Tremors are common. Solara caused the apocalypse. The tsunami is coming. Oh. This is the first of many catastrophes you're doing. That's why I was in a tsunami in the next bit. <gasps> it's coming. Lara, what have you done? By taking the key, you set the apocalypse in motion. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? Oh, Lara. You've realized what you've done. He's like disgusted with her. Even though he's a criminal, he's like, you're worse than me. The cleansing has begun. The cleansing? It falls to me now. I told you it wasn't Stop a foam it cleanser. Although it kind of is, because it's this an army. It's pretty foamy, right? Okay, so this is where I was before. I'll get to the end of this. I'll try and do it in one go this time. Because I showed you guys this. Oh. Like the chances of surviving this are more or less zero. So I don't really understand how she manages it, but I guess she's Lara Croft. 
But I showed you guys this a little bit on the early gameplay, but you didn't get like the backstory to it. You didn't really understand where I was coming from with it. But now you do, now you understand. And I've got to be careful here because you can get impaled really easily. You've just got to try and stay in the middle. If you go too close to the walls, that's when you get impaled. So, oh, and there's a car. Hello, car. Just got to try and stay as in the middle as you possibly can. I've seen as well online that if you screenshot this game, you can change Lara's expression. So loads of people have been screenshotted when she's been impaled and then changed her expression to a smile. Like, she's like, this is fine. Just getting impaled. What can you do? Okay, so she grabs onto the door here. And I think we've got another scary underwater bit. Like, my mum has claustrophobia. I have underwater claustrophobia. And I think that's like more, like, that's more extreme. That's more sensible though. <gasps> oh, you don't want a car on you. Oh no, or oh, the bell, or oh, the bell, it's gonna go on your head. Underwater you go. Okay. Oh, there's loads of bodies already. These poor people. Just enjoying their celebrations. And then Lara had to go and take the knife and ruin everything for them. Okay, let's get out of here ASAP, 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 ASAP. Swim, 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 swim. Bananas. Hey, bananas. You cannot come with me, I'm afraid. I have to leave you here. <sighs> okay. Little glasp of air and then down we go. Oh, look at those cereals. Do you see those? I don't know why I'm getting really excited about cereals, but I am. Okay. Another panic inducing bit where she can't get out the door. Smash it. So Okay, go! Go, 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 go. Oh, and there's a body right basically in the door. There's obviously a body right behind the door. Okay. You know what I think causes my like anxiety about being underwater and swimming? In um, The World Is Not Enough on N64, there's a whole level of this. And you have to keep trying to find these air bubbles. And, oh my gosh, it's such a good game. What is that level called? I can remember it so easily that I can like hear the music. That's how many times it took me to do it. I found it so, so hard. And oh, if you've played The World Is Not Enough on N64, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. That level is so scary. Okay, so you guys will remember this bit, because it took me quite a long time. <gasps> okay, off we go. Try and do it in one go this time, Claire. Okay? You can do this. You can do this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at you go. You are being awesome. Keep being awesome. Okay, jump. And swing and jump. Okay. Now this one, get ready. And jump, swing. And then onto there. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than before! Well done, Claire! You've got to say well done to yourself when you actually get stuff right, guys. Look at that! That took me a million attempts last time. Not this time! Literally get it all the first time! Ah! I'm so quick! Oh my gosh, I thought I'd ruined it there. <laughs> Too much chat! I'm like, oh, hey, Claire, you're so good! Look, here you go, falling into the water! Uh, we know what happens. We know we can't save this child. I'm sorry, kiddo. I really wish I could save you, but I can't. Oh, I think that bit's in there just so Lara can like see how she can't save them. Like there's nothing she can do to save them. She caused it. It's her fault and there's nothing she can do. I think that's the point of that bit. And I did all of that the first time. I died like nine times there before. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I've done it all before, so I should be. Oh look, it's our bro. Jonah! Jonah! Jonah, look, we're here. Jonah! Laura! Oh my gosh. Why is it always me doing all the work? Why does he never Sorry. help me? I failed. She realized she's done it all, doesn't Wes. she? What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. <gasps> I lost it. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly oh, what they whatever. wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. He doesn't have the box, important. though. I don't know. He thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. How are they going like to get that, the box? We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first, 
We're gonna help these people get to safety. Do you think she should have got the box first? No Is that what she did wrong? Right? Because they were the always separate first. from each other. I have to go. I'm the only I don't one. know. Don't She's know got banging skin want. though. You don't know that you caused all this, Laura. Not everything is about you. These people need to. You're not going in hard. We can do good now. Besides, what do we gotta go on? A riddle? We're gonna need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. He's telling her off. She got told there. She actually just got told. Stop thinking about yourself, Lara. Help these people. Although you can kind of see if she thinks We're she's caused it people. all. She's gonna be worrying. And then we'll find us a plane. And well, we know that plane gets ripped in too. But Jonah gets thrown out the other side. So that's like the prelogue to the story. That's the bit I got to show you guys. After this, it opens up to be a little bit more open world and like jungle horrific and all that kind of stuff. But this is like the beginning bit showing that all of this is Lara's fault and she's kind of brought on the apocalypse. And this is how the apocalypse looks. Graphically, very pretty, but also very tragic. So that's the first part of the game. And that's as far as I managed to get for you guys before. But now you've actually seen it with all the cutscenes in all its glory, looking pretty beautiful. This is where the next part of the game is in, in Peru. Looking real pretty and where the plane crashes and goes down. We know we've seen that little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and save there and this bit is gonna be ready for us to play next time. So if you guys want me to play this game again, please, please show this video some love. I loved playing the first rise, but I have to like, the videos, I have to make sure the videos are doing well, otherwise there's not as much, much point in doing them if not enough people are enjoying them. So please show some love in the comments below and share this video if you do want me to play it again. And I hope you guys if you guys enjoyed this actual official part one of Shadow of the Tomb Raider with all the beautiful cutscenes in all of its glory. And don't forget to check the link in my description to G2A so you can get a good price on the game and lots of gaming deals. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye!